it's so important to keep moving after surgery. Today we'll speak to some people who have experienced the benefits for themselves. But first, let's talk a bit about why keeping active in recovery is so important. Moving the joint that was operated on will help strengthen the muscles that support the joint and keep the joint itself more flexible. The first four to six weeks are especially important, so be sure to closely follow any advice from your doctor or physio to get you started on the right track. As you get stronger, pain will decrease, making exercise easier so you can build more strength and flexibility, which will decrease pain and so on and so on. It's what we call a positive feedback loop. Now let's hear from some people who can speak to the benefits of movement firsthand. Immediately after the surgery, I was emotionally very happy because I knew that this was the start of this incredible journey that I was going to be on and it had happened. I think immediately after my first surgery, I was shocked when I stepped off the bed for the first time. They got me up and moving 24 hours after surgery and a knee replacement is quite major. It felt really strange stepping on that joint for the first time. And the, the idea that they would then want me to do lunges and um, getting up off a, a chair or moving my knee back and forth, that was just beyond my imagination. Immediately after the surgery, I certainly felt sore and a bit groggy and um, I went on feeling fatigued for a while because I think you do if you've had a general anaesthetic it's quite a shock to your whole, whole system but I was certainly pleased that I was only in hospital for two nights and I came home and was able to get up the stairs without any assistance just using the crutches um, as I'd been taught which was fantastic. It took me probably half an hour to get from lying down on the bed to standing up and then the first few steps were sheer agony. It's like you're learning to walk again. And I remember almost cursing the physio and the surgeon to say, why they've got me walking? This is, this is silly. But knowing this is what they need me to do, so I'm going to do it. Um, and I remember those first steps really well. And then it just gets easier and easier and easier until well, after three days I left hospital and, and was going home. <laughs> Just pottering about to begin with and then that gradually over two or three weeks builds up to walking to the shops um, managing to get upstairs and gradually building up like that but you have to keep moving what I did notice after surgery was being able to do the simple things that they would advise you to do like um, rolling your foot back and forth on a plastic bag like getting up off a chair, just back and forth, having a, a ball in your back and, you know, just doing lunges that way. That was quite beneficial and helped me to be able to do normal things. So going up and down the stairs was easier if I did more exercise because then my knees were more flexible. So the exercises you do straight after surgery, everything is very low level. So straight away, just being able to lift your foot off the ground is is an achievement and I made it a sort of goal of mine to to monitor what I was doing so I would record what I was doing on one day so because I wanted to see progress I wanted to be able be able to see that this is where I've come from so I knew that if I was going to have a bad day in two weeks time I could be like now this is a great day because look what I was doing two weeks ago. Keeping active after the op although I had lapses was generally really important, I think, for my mental health as much as anything, because mobility is so important as you're getting older. And if you lose it, it's miserable because suddenly you're not independent anymore. After five weeks, that was the moment where everything felt like I was walking normally. Uh, and I was walking before five weeks, but always with a bit of trepidation and, you know, am I really in control here? Am I stable? At five weeks, that was where I felt like I was confident in what I was doing. I was up and down stairs without any support, without any rail. When you've just had surgery, it feels as if, and I've heard people say, why did I do this? And I, I suppose initially I kind of felt that way, like there's no way that I'm going to feel better after this because it's such a, a big thing. But then a few weeks pass and you're doing the physio and you realise that you're not relying on painkillers as much. 
and then another few weeks pass and you're still doing the physio and then you realize you're doing things without thinking about it. Everything was so difficult. So even just walking was a big challenge. That feels like exercise. So if you were going for a walk, whether that be somewhere out and about or just a, just around, walking was, was a really good thing to do. Don't need a gym membership as well with the recovery because so many of the exercises you can do in your home with, with the things that you would have anyway. I think during recovery, it was important that you did the exercises every day at a certain time. So I would set a reminder on my phone to say this is exercise time, specifically the stretching exercises and the knee strengthening exercises. And then maybe about six o'clock as a family, we would say, right, now is the time for the 10 minute walk. And we did that every day. So it never got forgotten. Any sport that I did would be something that would be comfortable and something that I would enjoy. And once I met those two, um, for two criteria, then I'd be fine. And I would do swimming, I would do dancing, I would do walking, because they were enjoyable and they got me moving. You might say, right, at 10, 15, I'm gonna do this exercise, and you go to do it and you can't do it. It might be okay, that's fine. I've had a go at that. I've tried, I, I wanted to do 10 repetitions of it, I did six, that's not a problem. Next time I'll, I'll try again and I'll do it. Or that hasn't quite worked today, I'm gonna to try something different tomorrow. And it's just staying on top of it and being really flexible. So it's a, it's a strange thing that I'm saying because I'm saying I want to be strict and stick to a path, but at the same time, you need to have that flexibility and not be down on yourself that I haven't managed to do what I wanted to do, but I plan to do it and I'm gonna try and do it again tomorrow. One of the things that I found that I enjoyed in that period was going to the park and just enjoying the spring and standing in the grassy areas and doing a bit of Tai Chi or doing a bit of, I don't know, other stuff that the physio had recommended, or even just lying on the grass and looking at the sky and hearing the bird song and doing my leg raises. <laughs> and so all of that became part of my process. So one of the best things that I've done in terms of practically doing the exercises and making it something that isn't a chore and isn't a difficulty is attaching it to things that I already do. So my favorite one is calf raises when I brush my teeth. So every day now when I brush my teeth, I do 20 calf raises. That's 40 calf raises every day, and I haven't lost any time. I wanted to set myself some clear goals. I'm quite a goal-orientated person. I think it really helps whenever you're on a, a journey in, in any respect, and recovery is definitely the one. The goals need to be achievable. I was a keen cyclist before, and I said to myself and to anyone that was listening, I'm gonna be able to ride a bike, and I'm gonna be able to do it, do it well. And setting that goal has been so motivating for me. I mean, it's very hard to have a knee operation and the days and weeks afterwards are very painful. But once you start moving and it starts healing, three months down the line, you think, oh, I can walk and I can do things. So having the second one done, once that had healed up and all the pain had gone, it absolutely changed my life. Now I'm riding on what is not far off a standard bike, being able to ride anywhere I want to, at any speed I want to, and I've, I've achieved that goal. But having that achievable goal and something to work towards made it so much more motivating for me. Now, um, by walking now, I can walk 10 miles. And I walk my dog every day for maybe two or three miles. And then at weekends we go back to do the walks I couldn't do. To not be in pain every moment, to not be in pain when you walk, to not think about your knee, to, to be able to play with your children, to be able to do all the things that I've done without thinking about it, it's been just amazing. Before surgery, I had to pack my heels away in boxes and put them in the attic. And I don't want to get teary now, it's just, <laughs> sorry. Before surgery, I packed my heels away in boxes and put them in the attic because I never thought I'd wear them again. And a few weeks ago, I was going to a banquet and I thought, let me try a pair of heels. And I was able to wear heels for an evening. 
<laughs> you know, and just and I know that that was simply because I had been doing that much walking, and I'd strengthened my knees and my legs to the extent where I was feeling more like a woman because I was able to dress the way I wanted to dress, and to wear the heels which I never thought I'd wear again. <laughs> After the surgery, do as you're told. Do what the consultant tells you, do what the physio tells you, and just do it. And it will really make a huge difference. I think my advice to anybody who's just come off the operating table is surround yourself with people that you love who will support you, because that will make an enormous difference. The best advice for the recovery period is the commitment and the dedication and knowing that every exercise you do, every squat, every car phrase, everything you do is, is having a benefit. And for everyone you miss, you're not having that benefit. So it's being really strict of yourself and saying, I'm going to do this. I think something that I've heard a few people say is they think recovery is you know, short term. It's just after an operation. Recovery is, I'm still in recovery now. I'm two and a half years on and I'm still in recovery. Once you're on the other side of surgery it's all about getting moving and building that joint back up. It can feel difficult but it's an exciting time. Every day you're getting a little bit stronger and a little bit closer to being able to do those things that you love so much. So follow the advice of your doctor or physio and stay the course. If you're struggling with pain discuss how best to proceed with exercise. If you have had past surgeries or are experiencing arthritis elsewhere in your body, keep that in mind when choosing and doing activities. Bit by bit, you will get back to doing the things that you love. <laughs> <laughs>